Good evening <laughs> tonight. We're, we're recording instead of morning, trying to keep our energy up. <laughs> so uh, I am Dr. Wilhelmina and I have a visitor and we are both going to tell you even more about this experience we've been talking about. We've had two other videos on it and you just need to go to YouTube and look up. I am Dr. Wilhelmina and you will find them. We'll have more places to look for it soon. Okay. <laughs> Introduce yourself, friend. A visitor? Okay, wait, 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 wait. You call me a visitor? And this I'm is sorry. Like the episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, my name is. Hey, everybody. My name uh, is. <laughs> uh, I'm Felicia. Sorry. I'm Coach Felicia, and really happy to be here. So excited about um, sharing the space with Dr. Wilhelmina and. Uh, talking about our, our experience. So thank you so much for joining us and let's roll. What are we talking about today? Yes, today we're in installment number three mm -hmm. and three of 10. And today we're talking about wavering trust. Yeah. How our trust wavered. Well, we were trusting when we started this out and now we're having the wavering trust. So how was that? How is it for you? Um, in talking about this experience, it, it was not, I don't know, because really it's like it was wavering earlier on. I can't even, I can't even <laughs> find an, an excuse for that, right? But um, I think when I think about this topic today, the wavering trust, right? Because you, you go in trusting that someone from uh, the gift of gab that they had, this, this woman, the way she was able to just communicate, just talk. And she was hitting those yeah. points that everyone wanted to hear. And it was like, why wouldn't I trust her? Like, right. Why wouldn't I trust her? And, um, but it wasn't until like, uh, we started to, we were meeting with her more often and there were little things that she would say or her tone when someone would say something that I could feel in my body. Right. I think we mm -hmm. all were feeling it, but we were like, no, 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 no. We're going to do this. So, um, yeah, I don't know. At first it was kind of funny though. I'm gonna be honest. Cause she didn't think it was real, right? No, you didn't think it was like, Ooh, guess I won't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but then after a while I was like, she's serious. Like this is real. And it, yeah. it was us starting to see that we're not really customers. We we're doing this for her. She's doing us a favor that we didn't right. really like buy into something that we did buy into. So yeah, it was a little bit strange at first. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. um, but she, she really switched up. Um, she did. did she switch up or was it that we just fell for the gaslighting? Cause we were all, we were all no, gas. She didn't switch up. Mm -hmm. She was always who she was. Yeah. from the beginning, but she did cover it up a little bit in the beginning. We didn't expect for her to turn on us. We expected that she was a real, like she was so real and raw and in your face that we, um, that we wouldn't, you know, we would think that she was going to be that way with us and be real with us. And she was, but the niceties were gone. But, and then it became niceties. Yes. Uh, yeah, we didn't judge her. No, we didn't. Um, we wanted to, uh, for me, I will say earlier on when she would use like the name of God and then she'd use a profane word behind and, it. Yes. That did disturb me, right? Yeah. And I was like, those shouldn't go. Yeah. I don't know. It's something with, with yeah. when you're speaking about God or you're spitting a verse out of the Bible. Yeah. And you got all this like... and. I don't think she had been drinking or drinking or anything, right? But it's no. that she was talking like a drunk sailor, probably without any kind of alcohol in her system. I don't think right? she ever. I'm not saying she was alcoholic. Wait a minute, make sure. I'm not I don't know. That. I don't know if she. I've ever if I ever saw her drinking, but her behavior was kind of out there. But you know, mm. we should say that the reason this experience, just in case someone watches this, yeah video without have seen without seeing the others that this is an experience where we paid into a um, right. 
marketing, I guess, um, a woman who was going to have a platform and it was going to be, well, we didn't even know really what the platform was, but she was going to make us, help us make a zillion trillion dollars. And not that we really believed that we were going to get all that money, but, but that we were going to make all that money, but it was really about um, a bunch of black women coming together and working together. And we loved it. And we did have a good time and we did work together. Well, it's just, yeah, it was not yeah. Really a real thing. Yeah. It was like, it, it was like a community, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were women uh, like minds who had these skill sets, things that mm -hmm. they've always wanted to try, mm -hmm. right? But maybe doubt held them back a little bit. Maybe mm -hmm. the fear of investing in something um, or giving it a go. And so when you had these women come together, it's like we were believing in each other, right? Yeah. And so we were doing a lot of the work for her to in so many ways, convince the other women, mm -hmm. we got this, we're doing this together. We're a group. We, we can, you know, and, um, yeah, that's the, that's, that's such a bummer to me because mm -hmm. it makes people hesitant, like to mm -hmm. trust again. I mean, I still will trust, um, uh, I'm not going to let this experience stop me, but I think what, I've noticed for myself, it's like, I'll pull back and I'll mm -hmm. allow myself to process what somebody has said. Mm -hmm. I'm not just going to jump in. I mean, if I jump in, it's going to be because I just want to jump in and do this. Right. Like we, we decided to kind of jump in and do the series, <laughs> right? You know, yeah. because we've been holding on to this for mm -hmm. what, three years? Yeah. Maybe? Oh, wow. You know? So, um, yeah, she really... She really had it. And I, I agree with you, Mina. It, I mean, uh, Dr. Willow Mina, it wasn't about the money. It no, it wasn't, definitely wasn't about the money. And we're going to say that a lot. We're going to yeah. say that a lot throughout all of these. Because yes. I think the other ones too. <laughs> yes. Because it wasn't that. Yeah. Mm -mm. It wasn't. And, and it felt good for us to be on a team. And and this whole thing that, that I talk about, the springboard to getting to where we really want to be, that it was, um, if it was just wonderful and exciting, the idea of it, mm -hmm. but there were cues that made us, hmm, our trust, you know, we weren't seeing any real movement towards what, what was said that was going to be done. We were just kind of on hold and just keep having these meeting after meeting after meeting. And then in these meetings, when we would get together, somebody's getting told off. Oh, for this, yeah. <laughs> Did it crazy. And it started to be like, is this, what is this? What is this? We're, yeah. What are we What's involved happening? in? Yeah. What's happening here? Did she really just say that to her? Did she really yes. just interrupt, cut her down? And, and, just short of, you know, shut your pie hole yeah. to somebody. I mean, she, she yeah. became so dismissive and I'm like, oh. Oh. and then we take the time to go to these Zooms and then you, you're wasting my time because you're talking about your relationship oh. or I don't really remember much of that. It was kind of crazy. It was like flopping around like what, what? And it was, what should I do? Or this is what he's doing. And should I, I ain't come here for that. <laughs> Get back to business, please. <laughs> yeah. But I think even when we talk about that wavering trust, there were several of the women that yeah. really got pulled into the drama that was happening Yeah. when she would share that. I really yeah. didn't care about that. I'm like, you yeah. know, what's your thing? Go, you know, but it yeah. was like, I mean, they really, I mean, we all were like, oh, okay, at first, right? Because it's yeah. like, okay, I guess, um, we're not, we weren't sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We weren't sure. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and then you, she kept showing up with that. Yeah. Like, no, something is really wrong here, but we've already invested. Yeah, we were going to stay. We put all that money in. We were going to stay and get what we needed. Yeah. But eventually it shifted. I'm sorry. It's the it's the squeaky chair. It's always oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. 
<laughs> I didn't even notice it until you said something. Oh, uh, it's always <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. I don't care. It's just what it is. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I think that was, it was a strange situation. It was difficult at times because, you know, you go to work all day, you come home, or even if you're at home, because during the time when we had some time in the house because of pandemic, but even being in the house all day, working on the computer, and then now you got to go to this and time zones, you know? Our time zones were off. And so having to be up in there when you're still working, it's like, and then it was demanding that you be there and for really nothing. But we met a lot of good people. I always have to say that. And yeah. we stayed in contact with some. So that was yeah. good. We built relationships. So that yeah. was mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. uh, lessons cost us. Yeah. Right? But, yeah. you know, uh, there are times where they can cost us a little less if we learn them earlier. <laughs> yes. I'm learning. I'm yeah. learning about, well, I've already learned about the funnels and I talk about the funnels sometime, but I learned about the funnels. Um, so I know when someone's offering me, I'm going to be very leery and get to know what it is and what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. And I'm not um, as open to some suggestions either like some of the ones that that happen and you know you got to show me something mm -hmm. show me something that i can see this that reward that i'm going to get when i do this when i'm paying for it it can't be it cannot be all talk yeah this talk is cheap no show me. i agree yeah and i think too many times there's for entrepreneurs there's opportunities out there to have they're not showing you nothing, anything. They're not showing you, you know, really what you're going to get. Now, sometimes they do a free, you get a free whatever, and they'll talk about it. Yeah. Maybe show you a few things, which is great. But then they want you to do something even bigger. That's part of the funnel. And when they go bigger, it's a lot of money. It's a whole lot of money. And I don't know if you're going to get what you really think you're getting with that whole bunch of money, with that uh, that big amount of money. Mm -hmm. So for me, no, that's true. I'm 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 very suspicious of those, and um, even the people that give you what they say they're going to give you, are they straight up about what they're giving you? If there's a problem, are they going to tell you? Are they going to help you like they say they're going to help you? I'm here for this. And even when you're done with me, I'm going to do this, this, or this. But do they? Will they? Yeah. Or is it just your problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you have that, too. That's one thing I, I give myself a pat on the back for. I think <laughs> I feel pretty good about that is yeah. even when I've worked with somebody, I think I, I, I know I go above and beyond. Yeah. So I don't care who sees this. It's like, hey, yeah. look, if I've worked with you and you didn't think I did, yeah. give me a call. You got my phone yeah. number. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I go above and beyond. And it's like, I could have worked with somebody years ago. Yeah. And I will periodically just reach out. Hey, I was thinking about it. How you doing? How's, how's things, you know? And I'm not charging right. extra or anything. I'm because mm -hmm. I sincerely can care about the people that I work with. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like with this one and like even maybe some of, or one of many of your experiences, right. It's like for you to have somebody that says yes. Right. Because you were sold on it and it's uh, whatever it was. And it's, <laughs> and it's great. And it's great. Right. It's great. I'm going to tell you, well, yeah. You, yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah. It's good. It's good. But um, anyway, it's like if you had followed through with, with people that do that, follow through, stick with this one. Right. Because it's like they go and they decide they're going to work with somebody because they're telling you you can. What it, what what is the thing that we hear often? Um, not no yeah. like a high. High ticket, high ticket clients or high. You know, it's all over like Instagram when you see coaches. I would scale client. your business. It's um, like get, get get high high ticket paying or high paying clients mm -hmm. or something. And I'm like, well, 
I believe in charging, right? I, I think yeah. it's important to be able to charge your worth. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's like, I think you really need to ask yourself. I, I do. This is, this is my experience, everybody. This is my experience. I ask myself, how do I feel after or, or when I'm working with this client, right? Yeah. You know, and it's like, I give a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm OK with it. I'm OK with it. But it's like, do I want to go and gouge somebody for, you know, ten thousand dollars to work with me for an hour? And yes, people, I know people that charge that. There are. Right. Mm -hmm. And and I know you're entitled to do that. But it's like. What are they getting? Yeah. And it's like it's worth it. Huh? Is it worth it? Did they get the information? <laughs> Try to implement it and then didn't get it because they, you know, it takes more than just telling someone how to do something. You do right. have to be there and maybe not hold their hand, but you got to be present and come back, check in and, and, and how can I help you? What's going on? You know, you kind of have to do that. Yeah. If you're saying that you're going to be able to do, to get them to where they want to be. Mm -hmm. Now, in my case, with that situation that I had, it, it wasn't that. It was just being a, a partner. Okay. But where's the partnership? I paid you money. You did a job. When there was a problem, I was a on my own. Ghost. Ghosted. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And then they, they ghost. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. And then, and then come back to you and ask you to do something. Oh, oh like, yeah. Don't get emails. What happened? You didn't leave me hanging, did you? I won't come back and let you do it again. No, honey. No. Mm. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's like I don't. I don't. I don't know. I. It, it makes me wonder though. Like, what makes someone think that you would go back? You know, and it's really unfortunate because if you had followed through. Mm -hmm. Right. And just roll this all the way. Yeah. It's like you were going to, I would have, we all would have said more. So when yeah. it comes to like monetary gain, you were going to, you, you would have gotten so much more mm -hmm. than what you got there. But like with this one that we're talking about in our experience yeah. here together, how we met. Yeah. What bugs me up with that is how they continue to do it. Oh yeah. And them I mean I don't follow them they've been blocked from my stuff but I've seen like when someone else has shared a video and I saw something like maybe three four days ago maybe mm -hmm. and it's like there's a, a woman that's like oh my hey you need to check this you need to check her out and I'm thinking ay 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 still doing it still She's doing still it but with a rel religious connected group Oh wow! So it's like, like church, or I don't know if it's a church or what mm. it is specifically, but that yeah, definitely bringing a lot of faith and God and Jesus oh. and all this, and it talks a good talk, but yeah, we'll know about that walk. It's, yeah. Yeah. My mother used to say a leopard, is it a leopard? Then change the spots. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I said that once to my child backwards. She was a little girl. She said, huh? <laughs> I think I said a leopard doesn't change the stripes. She's like, oh, okay. oh, you, you're, that's not right. <laughs> a leopard doesn't have stripes. <laughs> At a young age. Oh, wow. I was like, girl, you were too smart. <laughs> she used to always get me like that when she was young uh, on different things I would say. And she'd be like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's what I said. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I that that that's something, too, though, like hearing that, that she's doing that and she's doing that through organized or yeah. in some type of setting like that. And it's like, you, you know, it, no idea. 
even with that, you can see how like so many people have, I think there have been, when you look at the climate and you look at people who are leaving mm -hmm. religious organizations, right? Because you just, it's like, how do I, but then too, I'm going to say, even then, I don't care if he's a preacher, teacher, whatever, right? We put so much trust. Mm -hmm. We put this trust in them, yeah. right? That mm -hmm. they're going to help. And again, it comes back to us. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, you know, what do you call it? Snake, snake, snake oil? Yeah. What is it? Snake oil? Yeah. yeah snake oil. It's, it's that. <clears throat> and I learned something today that is helpful to entrepreneurs, I think. Like you were talking about how much people charge. So I have a um, hairstylist I used to go to and she would charge people for consults. And it was only like 50, 50 bucks. But, you know, because because her knowledge that she has is excellent. And she she does really good hair. And now I'm not going to talk about some other things that happened that aren't that weren't. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because she deserves every bit of that. And what I learned today, I went to somebody else that colored my hair. And this lady, she was like her because she was well-trained, but had even more information. Mm -hmm. But I, I thought she's just given out all this stuff, which was wonderful for me, for color, for um, my scalp, you know, all this stuff that... I wouldn't find out anywhere else. Whereas the other lady, she was giving you really good information too, but not this deep in. Yeah. So I was like, wow, I want to, I want to be around this lady. I want to even maybe do a collaboration with her someday. Mm -hmm. But the other lady, I now feel even more supportive of her charging for her consultations. I wasn't against it. I thought, you know, she should do that because she has knowledge that we're not going to just pick up anywhere. And, um, so I believe that people should charge for that. Yes, um, I agree. And know their worth. <clears throat> I agree. I agree. But make sure the person is getting something from what, you, what you're getting, getting something close to what it's worth. Yeah, you're going to make some money, but at least make it something they can sit down and say, oh, I paid this money and I got what I expected or at least got my money's worth. Right. But um, that's not what happened with us. Mm, no. <laughs> No. Not even close. No. Not we even all close. the time about it, but still, it's it's still wrong, and you're doing it to people that paid way more than us. Yeah, yeah, people that paid way more than us, and yeah, we were on the penny machine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the nickels. Yeah, yeah, pennies and nickels. Uh, we weren't, we weren't uh, sitting at the table. Yes. No, 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 no. I, look, she didn't want to sit at the table either because no, no, because you asked too many questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, it's like when you go to ask, this is the other thing with the trust, right? It's like you're trusting until when you, you know, you're like, okay, well, da 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 da. And then she would devalue the person the way she would just, yeah. Say something. And then when she would look and she, I think she would look and she'd see some of the faces. Oh, yeah. Like and then she'd try to reel <laughs> back in. But then you'd have somebody else say something like, wow, yeah. wait, what's, you know. And then we just slowly started to say right. something or women started to be quiet. And mm -hmm. I think she started to hear that silence. Mm -hmm. Because nobody really wanted to. There was a point where we didn't, as a group, I think we. We weren't saying too much. There was maybe one or two who were, or three or four or five. I don't know. I can't remember. But like <laughs> wanting to be super close to her and be like yeah. a teacher's pet and yeah. mm -hmm. listening to everything that she was saying. And I was like, she's she's playing us. And hanging on to every word. Mm -hmm. A couple of them. And no. Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But that's yeah. We yeah. we 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 saw some of the um just some of those things were starting to come out, the mini microaggressions, mm -hmm. microaggressions, I should say, mm -hmm. that were coming out. And it's like oh. but yeah. Yeah. Sad. And then with the wavering trust, the trust started to waver with the women. 
Yeah, with each other. Yeah. Had the tattletales. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, then call it mole. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the one that liked to copy our ideas. Now that drives me nuts. Period. That does too. I've experienced that. We both we both have experienced quite a bit of that where yes. you say something and they beat you to the punch and you know. Yeah. Or just like you're, you think, oh, I'm really struggling with this. Ex this entrepreneur stuff and and my posting and my this and that and you think oh then you got people doing what you're doing and it's like oh maybe I'm not so bad <laughs> I got people trying to do what I do right <laughs> yeah oh man you're like so you're, you're hanging in there for me there was a time not just too long ago. This week is the first week off, but I've been posting every single day. I know. Different places. So I was doing it. I was doing my own channel and posting every day, but I got tired. I'm tired. I got a lot going on. Maybe in a couple of weeks. No, it's going to take a while before I get back to where I was. But, you know, it just it happens. You, you get a little worn out when it's a team of one. Well, I can't say that I got a team of two. Yeah, a social media girl that helps me with my skincare. So, oh wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I got a team of one. Yeah, you count my dog too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you know I go to work all day. Then I'm in school, and then I'm not complaining because I wanted to do this. I didn't have to go to school ever again. I got just stayed out. I'm done. Right. But I decided I wanted to have more credibility and understand more about skincare so excited about yeah it's not easy you know it you know it but it's like you want yeah. it more in want depth more. information which is great because it's kind of like the woman the two women right working on your hair it's like with their knowledge oh, and their yeah. mm -hmm. same thing with you so it's like when i talk to you about like your skincare mm -hmm. line that you yeah. have and yeah. i say I know it's working. It, I mean, yeah. it feels good on my skin. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, look at you. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. yeah, you'll be able to talk to people. And yeah, I to will. Your I will. This yeah. lady has her own school, cosmetology school. So she wow. knows deeper than just being graduating from it and going and doing hair. And just think about it. When you learn whatever skills you learn for whatever job you do, it's fresh in the beginning. But then you start falling off because that's another thing I notice. I see my nail tech reaching out and grabbing my hand to her. But what I saw was you're supposed to tell them to bring them to you because all that reaching and grabbing all day mm -hmm. gets your arms tired, mm -hmm. you know, and it's working your muscles and you need to conserve some so you can have the energy for your folks, right? So mm -hmm. I told her, I said, stop. <laughs> I got this. I bring it to her. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to be doing that. She laughed. <laughs> oh. But like things I, I've seen in salons, I see in my classes and I'm like, oh, they don't do that. Oh, mm -hmm. they should do this. That. But if you fall off a bit, but this lady is actively teaching her craft all the time. So, yeah. so she knows so much. I just, I was so happy to be there and listen to what she had to say. And seeing her do what she did and how she did it, she's just awesome. Wow. Wow. Awesome. She was awesome. I was happy to meet her. Hope yeah. 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 So yeah, you 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 definitely I got my money's worth today. I didn't feel like dang, I paid too much. No, it looks good. I got my money's worth. She actually, thank you. She okay. actually charges just as much as the other person. But I got so much more. Not the, mm. per, the other person is not bad. She's yeah, yeah. Excellent. She did it the first time, so she's really good. But, but yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta, gotta give people their customers. You gotta give them what they paid for. You gotta do that. And you then some the people off. And then some. Yeah. Because if they give them a little bit more, like mm -hmm. not just to have them come back, but like when people feel really good about mm -hmm. the product or service that you, you yeah. know, offer they're willing to talk to other people about it. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I really, I still believe that the best, um, what do you call it? Advertisement is word of mouth. Yeah. Word of mouth. Yeah. I really, I, 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 mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But even that trust, like if you have ads and you have people in your ads, right? Mm -hmm. Are they real? Or are they <laughs> a setup? Or are they AI? AI I mean, no. What? So um, it's hard to get trusting information from companies or businesses or people out there being entrepreneurs or people that have businesses that I can do this and that for you don't really know. You don't know. No, you don't. Uh, you know, and while we're here, I know this is a little bit, it's still on topic, but it's a little bit different, but it's like, it's one of those things where I, I'm, I don't know if I share with you, but like back when I was like competing, I was looking for something and I, I think I put my name in, but I saw this trainer and, and this, this goes for even not just being an entrepreneur. Right. But like, if you're looking for a service even, right. You know, um, and this guy had a photo, like one of my before and after photos, with his business across the top. So you couldn't see none? No, you could see it was like his business, mm -hmm. almost as if he was the one who was my coach. Oh. Yeah, that might be another full episode, though. Huh? But he wasn't? I, I didn't know who this guy was from Joe Schmo. I never met him. And uh, it's one of those things where I told him, I called my trainer. I was furious. I was furious. I was the one living on broccoli, rice, and chicken. Yeah, right. <laughs> and sugar, you see it? Broccoli, rice, and what? Broccoli, rice, and chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, fish, you know. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I called my, my coach and I told my coach, but he was furious. And he says, you better, you better get in touch with him and you better tell him to ruin that. Da, da, da. And I did, I did get in touch with him and I spoke to him on the phone and, um, he was very apologetic and he had the audacity. And this, this just kind of reminded me of the one that we work with mm -hmm. or that we, you know, this woman. He, he said, well, I thought I was helping you out. You're helping me out? Hell and then he started using the God thing, right? I think it's about the God thing. Was God. And then he wanted to spit out, I don't know, something from the Bible. I don't know. I can't tell you what it was. But mm -hmm. And I was like, and you have the audacity to use mm -hmm. God's name for, you know, yeah, this guy. like, And now he is... Your thumb like came so up. many, like, huh? Thumb came up. Oh, sorry. It like, is. so go ahead. Okay. Like, so many, like, so many, um, so many other. Oh, wait, what was I gonna say? Oh, gosh, I lost my thought. It was mentioning religion, yeah, oh, but now it was something sorry. else that was gonna, sorry. No, 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 no worries. No worries. Yeah, the audacity like, to do something, yeah. He just, um, no, it was the audacity to use God's name, okay. You know? Uh, like she's using yeah. God and, and God wants you to be wealthy. It's your birthright. And yada, yada, yada. It's like, I was like, dude. And then part of me was like, I should, I, the thought ran cr across my mind. I should get on a plane and I should go to his gym. Oh, that was it. Because if you look now, the other thing is similar along this line is there's such a, uh, growth with women who are going through menopause oh. and you look at just all the trainers and people talking about yeah. menopause, menopause, menopause. Yeah. Let me help you. Let me, you know, and, <laughs> and what really bugs me up and I'm not saying that a guy doesn't know his stuff. I'm not saying that, but it's like, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's like, everybody is like jumping on his back, but he does that. Yeah. He specializes in that. Oh, wait a minute. I think I saw an advertisement with a man talking about. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I, if I haven't, I, I, we, we'll discuss that after the show. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, we're trying to hold on. And yeah. Transparency, oh. we're trying to hold on. And we're not really sure if we're going to say who this individual is. Yet. Yeah, but um, I want to. I know you do. I know you do. But maybe later on. Uh, I'm not scared. <laughs> Shit. Oops, sorry. Cat Williams did it. I know. As long as we do it before the end of 24, because he said 24 was the truth year. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we still, we still have several weeks. We still have several weeks, but yeah. maybe whoever watches this, yeah, you know, as people start to view it and tune in more and more, they say it. They say, it. hey, look, if you guys are seeing this, and if you're curious to know who we're talking about, we want you to try and guess. I bet you. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you a dime to a dollar, you know. But don't email me and ask me because I'm not going to tell you. Don't text yeah. me and ask me because I'm yeah. no. not going to tell oh, you. Yeah. Later. Maybe later. Yeah. But yeah, I was, I was just thinking a second ago about the guy you were talking about. You didn't ask him for your coins. Um, it was stop and stop and decease to remove it. I haven't gone back to check on it. To see if it's still no. I mean, I went and I I saw it, and he was supposed to remove it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I probably would have gotten. I did talk to an attorney, and she yeah. pretty much said it's not much you can do about that. Oh, yeah. And I thought, okay, um, so maybe you know, after we do this, maybe I'll just get on my YouTube and I'll just yeah, start talking about that. You know, because yeah. it was really, it was really. Uh, that really hit hard. Like this one yeah. was like, ouch, right? Yeah. But that was something that was so much investment in mm -hmm. maintaining your sanity. Yeah. Well, with a family, dogs, and just yeah. everything and still eating and doing, you know, it's just, yeah, it's hard to, to explain, you know, and then to have someone come and slap their name on it and say, you know, under their fitness yeah like who the who the hell is this guy yeah yeah, yeah. and he lives in uh is he in virginia or something like that I mean, maybe it's one of the carolinas mm. yeah so i mean way Sorry. way across you know what i'm saying he's not even mm -mm. he's not even west coast or no. west, but that's probably how they do it too right to yeah. build their business yeah they take this. It's like I saw there's a gal that's on TikTok, and I don't even know this woman's name, but I saw a woman that came on and talked about how she had done this transformation. And this woman who's very popular on TikTok used her photo, used her photo, and she said, I ain't never met that woman in my life. Wow. Yeah. And so the, he's not the only one. Mm -hmm. She's not the only one. People are doing that. It's like people go right. they work so hard. And I don't, I, I don't know. For me, I can't, I don't understand how you're okay with that. Mm -hmm. You know, how are you okay with that? And you're that desperate where you will take someone else's hard mm -hmm. work and slap it on your website. Yeah. like a Take, you know, credit for that. Yeah. You know, but you know, the thing is, it's like, either way, it's like, Whenever it comes back, it comes back. And it's not even me wishing anybody any ill. No. That's the way life unfolds, yeah. right? You know, so, yeah. Well, let me just say in my Good Skin Home logo, it is copyright. Oh. <laughs> I registered that thing. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. if you want to, I know one's going to use that. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's catchy. It's cool, but it is specific. GSH, so it's not like it won't benefit anybody unless they're GSH, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I don't know. Do we have any takeaways? Yeah, it's the, always the same for me. You mm -hmm. have the cues; they're there. They're telling you. It's there, saying, "Hey, makes your hair stand up on your neck, or makes you." feel some type of way about it, you already know. You're suspicious. You already know it's not right. Yeah. But make sure, you know, once you pay, you're in, you're in. But don't put any more money into that. Don't be fooled into coming back or don't be fooled into buying more because there's always another ticket. Mm. You got the first thing, there's always something higher, <laughs> something bigger. And you think because they gave you this little bit, really analyze and look at what you got. Did you get your mother money's worth? Yeah, How that's not? right. Yeah, that's really that's. I mean, that's what I would say as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, in addition to giving yourself time to let it process, yeah. you know, listen to the offer and just let it sit in. And if they tell you they only got that one or three spots left, 
It's okay. Oh. If you got to jump in without letting it process, then it's not, it's not you're it's not supposed hustle. to take up one of those spots. You know what I mean? It's the hustle again if you move like that. And I'm so glad that I understand hustling to a point yeah. when I can hear the voice and I can hear when they're going faster and speeding up and pressuring you. And you're like, uh, no, I'm going to take a step back. I'll yeah. talk to you in a couple days or maybe a week. Depending yeah. On what it is. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think that's, mm -hmm. I think that's really good advice. Um, it's a yeah. great takeaway, you know? Um, oh, and something I got, I should say this hmm. about the hustle, because I don't think I said it on, on that other video we did, but I've said it before, but when someone tells you something like, I expect that you should answer me right away, that you shouldn't make me wait and all this crap. Wait, was that you? That was yours. Yeah, that was on, that was, I was talking about somebody else, but yeah, with her, <laughs> she did. You know, I, mean, I started feeling some type of way about it because I was like, it sounded like my dude or something. Yeah. Uh-uh-uh. Talking about, uh, I feel like I have to chase you. You're not chasing me. I paid money to get in. I'm in. Like, what? Chasing me. You want yeah. me to break down and have some feelings and cry like somebody else might have done or whatever? No. Let's get this done. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I felt like with that one. But the other one was just saying basically that if they're trying to reach you or trying to, you know, do something for you or trying to, or calling you for the installments of the money you need to be right away running up behind but listen i told you i'd give it to you by here but, mm -hmm. but now you're asking me beforehand but i said i'd do it here so just sit back and wait you know but don't rush me so i felt like a lot of times it was that and you know um, yeah. that's all i can say without saying too much i don't want to say too much no i got you although i, I never i never tell anyone anyway who the person was that mm -hmm. helped me with my stuff so i never do isn't that something because it's yeah. like i i don't i don't either it's only been like mm -hmm. you and the women that were in the group right you know um and even with that it's like my question is why why do we feel like we have to protect her yeah why yeah why we'll, we'll, we'll decide whether we're gonna put it out yeah. there I think we yeah. need to look into that a little bit more, but it's like, I feel like we're protecting her, you know, yeah. like so many other people that do like not so nice things. And it's like, yeah. oh, well, it happened. And I'm just, ah, oh, it's over. It's like, yeah, but you kind of left the door open for them to do it to somebody else. Yeah. Like how many people knew about Diddy? Oh my gosh. That's, a, we got to do it. I mean, I don't know. If <laughs> want to do it on that. That's just so dark. <laughs> That's we so keep dark. coming up with stuff. We're like, we got to talk about that some other time. We need to yeah. start writing this stuff down. Yeah, because, uh, you know, I've never liked that guy. No. I'll just say it. Yeah. Never liked him. Yeah. And I didn't I didn't realize how much I did until one of my children called me and said, yeah, did you hear about it? I go, oh, no, I don't no. know. Uh, I go, no. What? She goes, I remember when we used to be in the car when we were little and one of the songs come on and you'd be screaming for us and turn the radio station. <laughs> <laughs> Change it. Yeah, but um, yeah, that it, it makes me it makes me sad for so many mm -hmm. people and yeah, so many people sad. that did not have the courage or the support, the support, and their who who they thought was their support didn't have the support, mm -hmm. right? And on and on we could go to be able to speak the truth or say no. Yeah. And that's why, you know, when you hear about those one hit wonders. Yeah. Like I said, this is a whole nother episode, right? Think about it. It makes you, you're thinking about, I'm thinking about all. Yeah. But why did they call him a one hit wonder? Yeah. Somebody probably wanted to do something they didn't want to do. What about Heather Headley? We were talking about her today. What happened to her? Oh, Heather Headley. Uh, oh, shit. She's the one who's saying he is. Okay. I can't sing, so I can't sing it for you. <laughs> India Irie, she wasn't a one hit. Neither one of them were one hit wonders. They did a couple albums. They were really good though. Mm -hmm. What happened to them? Some of these people that just disappear. They they do one song and they're done. Yeah. Cassie, Cassie was one of those. 
She did one or two. Oh, was she a singer? I didn't even know she was a singer. The one he he was his woman and he beat yeah, her. I didn't, I didn't know she was an entertainer. I thought. Geez. Yeah, her song. I forgot what it was called, and I'm not trying to sing it. Um, <coughs> dang, I forgot. But she she had her oh, you and me or something like that. Oh, okay. I'm going to rock out to it. Yeah, no, I'm just going to. I'm not going. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. We'll we'll. Yeah, we should write that down because I, I think it would be good. I don't know. I don't know. Because yeah. we do want to, it's almost like you get contaminated. Yeah. You know, let, let her turn these. Yeah, because it, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, no, I don't want to go down. But yeah. The, but yeah, but yet and still I'm tempted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I want to talk about Jaguar. Like, where's Jaguar? I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. And I don't know where she hides out, but I hope she's hiding good. And, you know, I, I want her to stop for her own sake, not from. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm enjoying what I'm learning. But. She didn't put enough out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not just him, it's others too. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Powerful people. Oh, I know. She keeps talking about I'm going from one to the next, and I just want her to just go to an island and live. But it's 2024. Yes. Yeah. For past 2024. I know all this stuff is coming. Yeah, Kat was right. <laughs> he was yeah he was right love you cat williams yeah. <laughs> i do so, i don't know what is our next um um i'd have to look it up on the phone without my gloves <laughs> i can't see it let me see i have mine here oh what is it i think we kind of touched base on this a little bit um what is it? The questioning, questioning authority. That's mm. going to be a good one because that's a good one across the board. Yeah, question authority in general, right? Yeah. She wasn't your authority, though. No, she wasn't, but. Don't get um, me started on that. It, it, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that next time. Remember, you were a customer. Yeah. And that's, I think, where she got lost. Well, it was because she. she herself. There were some that lifted her up so much, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And and it's like, and it happens. But yeah, mm -hmm. we'll we'll save that for next time, though. But yeah, we we should. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Question. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. <laughs> Ooh, because that make... that's like that's not just her, but that's like military. <laughs> that's oh, no. law enforcement. Yeah, that's pastor, yeah. teachers. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's been in the hot seat lately. <laughs> yes. What military been in the hot seat? No, I don't know. I don't know. They cover it pretty good, though. I'm covering for them. Oh, is that what you... <laughs> you got some, but you do have some jerks that, you know, that you have to deal with in the military oh. that you like to have to deal with out in the world. So, yeah. yeah, but you do have some good people, too. Oh, of course. Of course. Strong, good people. Yeah. Yeah, so... Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, um, you know, hit us up. Like and subscribe to the Comment, channel. share it with someone. If you know somebody that got themselves into one of these entrepreneurial type <sighs> of situations with funnels and mess, make sure, see, I said mess, make sure you share it with them or share yeah. one of the first ones with them, the first two. This is number three. And we'll be back again with number four really soon yeah okay yeah. thank you, you like for watching bye, bye. <laughs>